November 5th is going to go down as the single most important day in the history of our country. Well, let's bring in host of Saturday Agenda, Rob Astorino, who was watching last night's victory speech uh, with us as well here for all our coverage, talking now about what happens next. Close to 12.15, not yet, but the tone last night, Rob, um, many say it was it was very presidential. We know he had already been looking towards the general, but tonight, uh, last night, perhaps more so than ever. Yeah, I think it was the right tone. It was back towards the Iowa tone that everyone said, that was great. I, that's the Donald Trump I want to vote for. And then, of course, when he did New Hampshire, he was kind of angry and attacking. And that was like, oh, I don't want that. This is the pivot now, obviously, to the general election. He doesn't have to mention Nikki Haley's name. He's got no more challenges. Next Tuesday, he will wrap up the nomination, or at least get over the delegate hump uh, with those four states. So uh, this is it. I mean, it's game on now. It's going to be very interesting. I mean, Nikki Haley gave her concession speech today. As you said, it was quick. She has not endorsed Trump yet. I think there's a lot of logic to that if she wants to run either as a third party candidate, which she says she has not wanted to do. But I guarantee you there will be surveys now with Nikki Haley's name in it as a third party candidate. But the other thing is nobody says no to a VP, right? If you're offered the vice presidency, you don't run for that, but you take it. She has maximum leverage right now if she wants to do that. Trump needs her too. And if she wants to get back in the good graces, if she does want to settle for VP, she can now flirt with third party or just say to Donald Trump, you know what, uh, I would love to bring my support to you. And it is, it's significant because she can attract some of those independents, uh, some of those maybe Democrats. folks who don't want to vote for Donald Trump <laughs> and some Democrats. Yes. Everyone in Vermont who loves Bernie Sanders. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that's an interesting uh, guess. There's there's no shortage of people who would love to be Donald Trump's VP. We do know that um, short speech. So let's see. She also said, though, she's in, going to be enjoying her time as a private citizen, which makes me think maybe corporate board member or something, since there wasn't a full on endorsement. But real quick, uh, he did get Mitch McConnell's endorsement there. And that obviously stands for something as well, Rob. No surprise. And Mitch, Mitch McConnell is a party guy. He's an institutionalist. Uh, the train left and he's looking at it go down the track. <laughs> so um, uh, better late than never. He's rushing to the next station to hop on. But look, he did what he had to do. And everything is going to start to coalesce now behind Donald Trump. And I think that includes Nikki Haley if she has any future whatsoever. We will wait and see. Rob Astorino, good to have you in today. Thanks so much. Thanks, Bianca.